Hey, collective, hey, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Shout out to the entire YouTube fam. I love y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a little stuffy, okay? <laughs> but I love you guys. Um, also, don't forget, uh, Sunday is the last day to book um, your personal reading, okay, for the $50 special starting Monday, guys. Um, you can book online, okay? So give me some messages, Holy Spirit, for the collective. All right, I'm seeing Archangel Uriel. For somebody, your crown chakra, okay, um, is has been activated. Look, the seventh chakra. This is around the crown chakra. For somebody, you might feel connected to uh, the color purple, okay? I'm also seeing storm warning here, okay? For somebody, God ha gave you like a heads up, okay? God gave you some type of warning, okay? This was some type of divine warning that has been sent, okay? So I'm also picking up for somebody, right? This don't have to be for you, I'm also picking up, it's like God has sent some type of divine warning, okay? God has sent, yeah, Holy, uh, thank you, Holy Spirit. God sent a divine warning to somebody. Somebody has been warned, okay? There has been a divine warning, indecision. Yeah, see, somebody was finna do something they know they should not be doing, or somebody was finna make the wrong decision, Okay? Again, see, when we, I, I love when we dealing with God, right? When we dealing with energy, right? Once you send that energy out to the universe, you done. Once you send that energy out to the universe collective, you done. Because karma, okay? Karma, okay? Uh, the universal laws, okay, come into play. And what you put out, you gonna get back, okay? So, I feel like for somebody, God sent somebody some type of divine warning, okay? Now, they, this person is like in limbo. Somebody in, is in limbo. They indecisive. You know what I'm saying? Or this could be for you. Maybe God gave you a divine warning collective, okay? Okay. Let me move this out the way. Give me some more messages for the collective. Wow, I'm seeing man holding a coin. I'm also seeing woman holding a coin here at the bottom. All right, this is a king of pinnacle energy. Somebody could be an earth sign, okay? Don't have to be. Give me some more messages, Holy Spirit. Healer of all ages. Woman holding a heart. Let me get one more. Archangel Gabriel. And I'm seeing Metatron here. Somebody give some type of clarity, okay? This is crazy with Metatron and Uriel. A lot of clarity, a lot of divine intelligence, okay? God showed somebody something. Or I'm picking up God is dealing with somebody about you, okay? With this man holding a coin, healer of all ages, okay? Woman holding a heart. God dealing with somebody about you, collective. Move this out the way.
What is Archangel uh, Uriel? The crown chakra. Child, what did I say? So God dealing with somebody about you. The eight of cups is here. Look, the eight of pentacles is here. Somebody seeing the number 88, okay? Or the number 88 is significant, okay? 88, um, I'm, somebody could be a path life number seven, okay? January 6th could be significant, okay? Um, August 8th could be significant, okay? God is dealing with somebody about you. God is telling somebody to leave everything behind and come towards you. Somebody might work a lot with this eight of pentacles here. Somebody might work a lot collective with this eight of pentacles, okay? For some of y'all, this might actually be love, okay? With this man holding a coin and woman holding a heart. And then healer of all ages is literally in between them. And remember the beginning of the reading, we saw that storm warning, right? I said God is warning somebody or something like that. God dealing with somebody about you or God is dealing with somebody about something. For somebody, if you watching this, now this ain't going to be for everybody. God told you to take some type of action. It's some type of call to action uh, you being led to take. It's also not necessarily leave everything behind, but stop what you're doing. Yeah, stop what you're doing. It's like, it's something else you're supposed to be doing. Or it's something else that needs your attention at this time. What is this man holding a coin? The hermit. And this is a number nine, okay? <laughs> Somebody watch you online, collective. Yeah, for somebody, this masculine energy, again, this could be an earth sign. Don't have to be, okay? This is somebody that spend a lot of alone time. This is somebody that's very isolated, okay? For those of you uh, where this resonates with, uh, when it comes to love and romance, right? If you're dealing with a masculine energy, this, you're dealing with somebody who is very isolated. This is somebody who spend a lot of time by themselves. Yeah, it's like this person, God is convicting their spirit, Okay. God is convicting this person's spirit. That's why they being led to stop what they doing. It's something that God could have shown them in the spirit realm that this person ain't, didn't like, okay? Or this could they God showed them a possible outcome if they don't stop what they doing. Yeah, five of wands, competition. Some of you guys have other suitors, okay? Other people interested. But this could be a divine connection. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Wow. This is definitely, um, this could be a divine connection. And God is getting the attention of this masculine energy. Yeah, judgment. It's time for them to resurrect something, okay? What is healer of all ages? See, look at this Eight of Cups and look at this hermit. The Eight of Cups look like he's leaving, right? And then the Hermit look like he's on the journey. 
So the Eight of Cups look like he's leaving, getting ready to begin the journey. And then the Hermit looks like, you know, he's on the journey. You know what I'm saying? What is Healer of All Ages? The Nine of Swords. Yes, somebody is stressing. The Ace of Swords, but they've gotten some type of clarity. Somebody got the clarity that they needed to heal things. They got the confirmation. What is woman holding a heart? This is going to be um like love for somebody. What is woman holding a heart? Yeah, the six of pentacles, it makes sense. Man holding a coin. For somebody, ooh, the empress. You finna be blessed, okay? Somebody finna bless you, okay? God put it in this king of pentacles energy to bless you. Man holding a coin. Look at this six of pentacles, okay? This masculine energy is finna come give to you, okay? Finna put some in your hand, okay? But it's not by his own will, okay? This is by like, um, this is God's will. This is something that God won't, uh, I'm not going to say God is making him do or God is forcing his hand to do. Um, this is something that God dropped in their spirit to do and they going to be obedient and do it. The Empress is here. Okay. What is um, Archangel Gabriel? You going to hear from this person. Yeah, Page of Wands. You going to get a message, okay? You going to get some type of communication from this person. It might be about traveling or meeting them somewhere or... Going on the trip. Let's clarify with the other tarot. What is it? What is this Eight of Cups for Uriel? The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this wow. Look at Holy Spirit <laughs> being clear. I'm seeing the Emperor on the bottom. When the emperor show up, what do I always tell y'all? When the emperor show up, the emperor is action motivated. The emperor is going to take some action. This person been contemplating. This person been contemplating, but the eight of cups is here. They've gotten the clarity that they need, okay? God, I feel like kind of forced their hand in a sense. Remember, we saw the five of wands, okay? This is love for somebody. Somebody feel like it's competition or it's other suitors, okay? And it's like they can't take their time no more. See, they, they've been taking their time. But God had to drop some in their spirit. God had to show them something. Yeah, the emperor with the knight of swords, they coming. Somebody finna make a move now or take some type of action. What is this hermit with man holding a coin? Whoa, that was the death card wanting to come out. What is this hermit? Baby, the empress. Somebody coming to bless you. Or we saw the emperor. Ace of swords. We saw the emperor. You dealing with a divine counterpart. Somebody coming to make you there, make you theirs, okay? <laughs> Not saying like they own you, but you get what I'm saying, collective? Like somebody coming to put a stamp on you, like... Yeah, two of cups. Oh, wow. The two of cups fell. Two of wands is here. For somebody, you might be seeing master number 22, okay? Or you might be seeing 222, two, two, okay? For somebody, you at a distance from this person. Look, the page of wands, I talked about travel, right? For somebody, you might be at a distance from this person. 
okay? It's a phone here. You might get a text from this person. What is this nine of swords? With healer of all ages. Yeah, three of wands. King of Wands, Five of Wands, a lot of wand energy, okay? I feel like if you at a distance from this person, something about the distance is getting ready to change, okay? Something about the distance is getting ready to change. There is some type of expansion here, okay? that's getting ready to take place. What is the Six of Pentacles with woman holding a heart? Wow, the Six of Pentacles, stop playing. The Six of Pentacles, guys, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles here twice. This is confirmation, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody finna gift you something, right? But this is like God put this in their spirit to do this. The Ace of Pentacles is here. God put something in this King of Pentacles energy to do for you. And they finna do it. They've been in limbo about it. They've been contemplating. But they finna do it. Okay? We saw the Emperor. What did I say? The Emperor is action motivated. Okay? Let me see something else for y'all. Look, the two of wands is here again at the bottom. Let me see if I can. I don't even think I can reach this. Hold on, guys. We might have to clarify with um. We might have to clarify with another tarot, guys, because this getting juicy. <laughs> this getting a little juicy for y'all. All right, so I'm back. I'm sorry. So it's like, oh, okay, so it makes sense. The king, the king of pentacles, something very generous, like a very generous gift, okay? Like somebody finna gift you something, like they finna do something very, very generous for you, okay? Be open to receiving. The empress is here. So let me say this. I had to learn this too, right, with the empress. Uh, so this is really to my divine feminine energies, right? When you in this empress energy, when you are receiving, right? When things are flowing to you, you have to be patient. Sometimes it, it, it may take a little longer than you would like. That don't mean take things into your own hands, okay? Because when the time is perfect on God's timing, right? Whatever is coming to you, just gonna flow. Whatever it is that you are attracting to you, you you gonna get it, okay? For somebody, it's something that God has put on this person's heart to do for you, okay? They getting ready to do it. They getting ready to do it. It's some type of very generous gift, okay? You getting ready to receive divine feminine. When I say very generous literally very generous somebody is coming bearing gifts okay somebody is coming bearing gifts this is because again let me say this remember the beginning of the reading we saw storm warning god been dealing with this king of pentacles about this empress energy Sometimes, you know, God will force your hand. And I'm not saying it like that, but God might have showed this King of Pentacles something in the spirit realm, okay? That, hey, if you don't make your move, you see this five of wands over here. You know what I'm saying? That five of wands representing other suitors, other people who are interested. But this is um, for somebody you dealing with a divine counterpart. Somebody coming to resurrect something with this judgment here. Somebody want to share something with you, okay? What is the page of wands? 
What is this page of wands with Archangel Gabriel? All right, we see in the Seven of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. I'm going to take the Seven of Cups. Also seeing the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom, okay? Um, yeah, something faded, okay? Something faded here, collective, with this Wheel of Fortune. Do I have my other tarot over here? Because I really want to pull tarot again for this. I don't think I have my other tarot deck here. Let me see. Because I really have to pull another tarot for y'all. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Here we go. All right. I'm gonna say I literally just had it. That's what I got up to get. What is this Seven of Pentacles with this Eight of Cups? The King of Wands, baby. Somebody not playing. Somebody not playing, honey. What is this Empress with the Hermit? Wow, the Lovers with the King of Pentacles, okay. The Knight of Wands. Some child, what is this three of wands with this nine of swords? Baby, the magician. I said it earlier, God finna work some magic. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe was that another reading? <laughs> maybe that was another reading, okay? What is this uh six of pentacles? And the Six of Pentacles. What is this generous gift? Oh, baby, it's a surprise. That's what this Seven of Cups is. Somebody finna surprise you. You gonna hear from somebody unexpectedly as well. But somebody's gonna surprise you. What is this Seven of Cups? What is this Seven of Cups, Page of Wands? The freaking Empress, guys, with the Strength card. Listen, baby, the Chariot, the Queen of Cups, baby. The Empress is here twice, okay? The Chariot is here. Somebody finna surprise you, collective. It's something that somebody finna do that's gonna surprise you, okay? This is gonna mend the relationship. This is gonna mend the connection, okay? For some of y'all, you literally at a distance from this person. I see distance here with the three of wands. Somebody might live by water, okay? Page of wands is here, another sign of distance, okay? I'm also picking up um, fertility, okay? <laughs> the empress and the lovers, okay? Definitely a sign of fertility. And we have the king of wands here. So, baby, this is definitely romance for somebody, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like God has put fire under your divine masculine feet, baby, okay? And ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? But again, to my divine feminine energy, the empress is here twice, okay? You've been manifesting something with the magician here, okay? You've been literally manifesting something. Try not to force anything at this time because everything is flowing to you. When you in this empress energy, you can't force things, okay? It may take a little while. It may take longer than uh, you expect, okay? You might get a little frustrated, but you have to understand when you manifest and when you attracting, okay, it's gonna come. So for somebody, you again, you have um, a very generous gift coming 
from your divine masculine, okay? A very generous gift, okay? But this is somebody that places you on a very high pedestal with the empress here twice, okay? This is also possibly somebody who wants children or ready to um, start a family, okay? So hit that thumbs up, guys. Subscribe if you have not subscribed, okay? Thank you guys for watching.